As our island city sleeps, there are some who are just waking up to the night. A young pair of buffy fish owls have made Hampstead wetlands their home. During courtship, they often engage in bouts of play fights. Owls have extraordinary night vision that enable them to hunt in the dark. A male is out scanning its surroundings for food, while the female rests. Perched on a dry tree trunk, he spots something in the pond nearby. The owl swoops down in the moonlight. Having missed his catch in the pond, he goes back to his favorite hunting ground. This time, the owl is more determined and it scans the ground below for rats and frogs. It swoops down again and finally has a catch. This young couple is expecting a baby very soon. After six weeks, we finally got a glimpse of the newborn. Oscar the Grouch. Having stalked them for over two months, I feel like a proud father who just witnessed a birth of a new child. As a species, the buffy fish owls seem to be doing very well across the island and have adapted very well to the changing landscapes and fragmented habitats. Rain is a sign of new beginnings a symbol of creation and life. To value life and nature is to instill providence. Rain, like all other forces of nature, is a reminder that we are all part of the natural world that's beyond our ability to control. It's time for us to take you on a journey into our very own enchanted forest. Not far from home lies a forest I have seen. It's a place for adventure, a place for fairy tales, a sanctuary for all our little friends, a place where you can find marvels, a surprise at every corner and turn you take.
As the birds chirp, it echoes throughout the silent forest and everything comes to life. An oasis from the urban civilization right in our backyard. Every corner reveals new treasures. forest where danger and fantasy merge into blurred lines. Have we lost touch with nature and its rhythm? Perhaps it's time to reconnect. To coexist is to co-adapt to living in a shared space. As an evolved species, we are in control of the biodiversity of our island state. It's up to us to preserve what's left.
ecosystems and rich biodiversity are fundamental to life on our planet. As the light fades, a completely new world comes to life. We've always been curious about the night and the night creatures, the fear of the unknown. A civet cat living on the roof of a house is just waking up. A night jar announcing his arrival. A snail feeding on mushrooms releasing spores, a sight to behold in this moonlit night. A jade tree snail moving across the forest floor like a princess of the night. A school of tadpoles glowing under the moonlight at the botanic gardens. An Asian toad resting in the comforts of a tree hole. A fishing spider on the banks of a stream. A pangolin mother and baby forages the forest floor for food. The spotted wood owls kissing under the moonlight. It's a new day at the park. The family of white-bellied sea eagles soared across the sky. As always, they are hunting and play fighting near the shores. He's taken a liking to the herons nesting on the trees. It's often seen attacking the herons. Sitting on the edge of land and sea, Mangroves are unique and complex in many ways. Life in the mangroves is tough. Living on the edge as if balancing both land and sea. The mangrove ecosystem is a source of food and a nursery ground for a number of different species. Otter family introduced us to the newborns today. It's a time of joy and celebration and new beginnings for this family.
Late in the afternoon at Sungai Buloh wetlands, a crocodile is resting by the edge of the mangroves. Oblivious of the resting crocodile, an egret is busy foraging for food. Though an easy snack, the crocodile seems to be in no mood and would rather bask in the hot sun. Survival is at the heart of wildlife. Extraordinary sight of an otter and a crocodile fighting for territory. These are realities of our very own natural world in our island city state. This is our backyard. This is our city in nature. This is Singapore.